Sweetest Valentine's by Jane E. Gerber. Tomorrow will be Valentine's Day. The class is making cards. Here are paper, lace, and glue. Fred says, this won't be hard. Will Fred use paper that is red or paper that is pink? Which color will look best with lace? Fred thinks and thinks and thinks. Sue cuts out a lot of hearts and she pastes them one by one. Jean draws a garden and Jack draws a yellow sun. Fred cuts out a cupid and a bow and arrow too. Fred gets to work and he cuts and draws. Oh no, there goes the glue. Time to stop, Fred's teacher says. Her name is Mistress Fox. But Fred, Fred does not have any cards to drop into the box. All his friends are going home, Fred follows, and he feels mad. I did not make my valentines. Now Fred is feeling sad. Fred walks through the forest past Jean, Jack, Ray, and Sue. And then Fred gets a bright idea. He knows just what to do. Fred eats his dinner, and then he takes a bath. He gets to work, and then... It's a little messy. And needs a bath again. Valentine's Day is here at last. Mistress Fox stands in the crowd. Each student picks a valentine and reads the name aloud. Jean gets a card from her friend Jack. And Ray gets a card from Sue. And Fred gives cards to everyone for you and you and you. I hope you like these valentines. I made them by myself. There was no more lace or glitter or paper on the shelf. I made hearts from leaves and feathers, and I used some acorns, too. I stuck them on with honey, since I had no paste or glue. Sue's Valentine's is the reddest, and Ray's card is the neatest. Jean's hearts is the biggest, but Fred's cards are the sweetest. Fred gets a Valentine to his mom, and she asks, Is this for me? Thank you so much, my little Fred. You are my honeybee.